and welcome back to my opera channel and to day six of eight days of opera sometimes as an opera singer I feel like I picked a career that's really only going to be enjoyed by the rich elite and privileged out there and yes opera started for the rich and the privileged there's no denying the truth but on the other hand that doesn't mean that times haven't changed yes the very first opera was performed at Maria de Medici's wedding to King Henri V of France did he attend his own wedding no why would he but he didn't only miss out on one of the greatest weddings of all time he also missed out on the premiere of the very first opera on October the 6th 1600 it was a Friday the opera that was performed was part of the week-long celebration. It was Rudice, composed mostly by Perry, but there were some segments by Caccini and the libretto by Rinoncini. Now, there have been so many more versions of Ofeo no Rudice since this first incitement of opera into the world, but the very first recorded opera was this one. There was one two years prior, but it really wasn't that great and no one really remembered it, so it's kind of like your first pancake that you just have to throw away. Otherwise some people eat it, but it's like too much butter, you know, but delicious. Avi, what are you trying to tell us? Please focus. Yes, okay, true. It all started for the very rich and privileged, and after that, basically in people's houses until 1637 when the first opera house was built in Venice. But up until then, it was really only something that you would hear in someone's living room. It wasn't there for everyone. But nowadays it is, and you can find opera pretty much everywhere. Starting with streaming online, like Met On Demand and Medici. Now you know why it's called Medici. Medici TV, Intermezzo, there's so many streaming websites, just like Netflix, for opera and for loads of other classical music. But you can also just sit at home, get some popcorn, get some, you know, camembert, you know, some wine, maybe some mold wine. Now since the sun goes down so early you can also do it with like nice and warming wintry feeling just host an opera party you will enjoy it I promise number two you can always find it with people doing things just like Lizzie Holmes is doing where you have basically open mic concerts but for classical music and you get the best performers performing right in front of you and you really get to get immersed in the experience go check those things out I'm sure there's one in pretty much every single town and if you can't find those create one yourself it's not something Something you're not allowed to do because you're going to be an opera singer so you can't be a producer either. I've interviewed a couple people on this channel where that's exactly what they do. I am so so happy to put them on this platform so you guys can all meet them. Number three is you can see throughout the summer and throughout the year there are tons of traveling opera productions and festivals that are not, you know, Glyndebourne, but still have amazing operas and amazing young singers, and you can definitely find the greatest productions happening. I really, really would recommend, so pay attention because tickets sell out fast for those. Number five, opera studio productions. I think I've spoken a little bit about what an opera studio is, but it's basically a baby version of an opera company connected to a larger opera house. They put on their own productions or sometimes their understudies for main roles in the main house productions, but you get to see the best singers in the world doing opera and go check them out. And of course, of course, obviously, you can always, always go see opera in any opera house where tickets range from standing room tickets all the way to 250 pounds or more. There are always discounts available such as student discounts or rush tickets. So make sure you go to all of those websites and check that out. Don't give it an excuse that you can't go to an opera because of money. But of course, I just want you to go see an opera because that is really initially the only reason I do this channel. That's all folks, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope you really, really do go see an opera. And please send me a picture of what you went to see with the hashtag Diva Studies and please help with a name for next year's opera. Anyway, I will be back tomorrow with day seven. In the meantime, like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you can be notified when I make a new video, which is pretty much every Monday, except for right now. In the meantime, have a great, 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 great week. Don't forget to drink lots and lots of tea and go see an opera. And my battery's dying, so bye.